Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the George J. Kunzer Gymnasium for tonight's contest, featuring the Panthers from Beaver Local High School and your Toronto Red Knights. I'm Rich Coburn. He, the man to my right, really doesn't need an introduction because he is the man, the myth, the legend, actually my good friend, and I wouldn't be able to do this without him. Please welcome Mr. Robert Suffolk. How you doing, pal? Uh, I'm good. I, I haven't been called Robert in, uh, boy, a long time. Well, I heard years. I heard there's a lot of people from Beaver Local <laughs> listening tonight, so I want to make sure I get you the proper introduction, oh. pal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll yeah. hear me no call him Suff as I just, yeah. with his uh, real name. Now, that I've been called for 45 <laughs> years, but, you know. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a good game. I uh, don't know much about Beaver, but they look pretty good uh, just in the warm-ups. They're hitting a lot of shots. they got some height, quickness. I watched their guards. Um, I think... I don't know their record. I usually find that out, but uh, Red Knights have been playing well, too. Should be a good game. At this time, I can see, buddy, the Welcome to George J. Kunzer Gymnasium is up and on the Jumbotron, which means only one thing. We're about ready to tip this thing off. So let's do it, shall we? We're going to go ahead and turn it over to the public announce system. Public address announced man as he go ahead with the national anthem, the starting lineups, and I believe that's all. They haven't told me they're not they're doing anything special tonight. You? No. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do at this time. We're gonna send it over to Mr. Jonathan Duran for the national anthem and the starting lineups.
So that is your starting lineups right there for Beaver Local and for the Red Knights. Once again, really quickly, your starters for Beaver Local, Biznak, Bauer, McKenzie, Taylor, and Stevenson. And for your Red Knights, Dickinson, Carafa, Baker, Close, and Benton. As Benton looks and comes to the middle of the court. He's going to go jumping against Stevenson. There's a whistle, and here we go as the tip goes to Beaver Local. And we're going to start this one off. Turn eight to the zone looks like starting out here. Right off the bat, they're going to say it's hit off the Red Knights, goes out of bounds. Beaver Local's ball. Yeah, I couldn't tell. It was like I didn't see anybody call anything. Hmm. The ball went all the way into like the <laughs> weight room in the corner. <laughs> Taylor drives it and kicks it right back out. Bauer. Taylor, nice ball movement by Beaver Local. Good job, good, good hands. Benton. Out of bounds, stays here, Beaver Local. I, I, I like the fact we got two bigs down low and uh, we're doing a good job. They're actually trying to get the ball uh, in the low post and uh, Blake close and Benton. Benton kicks out to the corner and close denied the entry pass pretty well. Good job so far by the Red Knights defense. Taylor gets it, throws it back over here to Boyer. Boyer. Boyer to Taylor, all the way down to the corner. The shot's up by McKenzie. It's going to fall in to Biznick's hands. It's going to go off of White's foot and out of bounds. Yeah, I think Noah kicked it. Noah Carafa, he was, he was starting to sag down into the lane, trying to get a cross-court pass there, and uh, he booted it out of bounds. So, as he takes the drive in, it's going to be Boyer. Drops it off to Stevenson. He's not going to be able to get it, and it'll be pulled down by Close, and here comes the Red Knights. Yeah, good job. Blake got up high for that one. Great job. Nice contested shot. Benton didn't pick up a foul. He just got in the, in the shooting lane there and uh, changed that shot a little bit. Good rebound on the backside by Close. Red Knights in business here for their first possession. Nice dish off by Carafa. Gets it to Close in the corner. Close dribbles and drives. Shoot, shot goes up off the nice little kiss off the glass and goes well, in for I'm gonna two. I'll tell you what, very good offensive, powerful move by, by Mr. Close there. Good ball move by the Red Knights too. Good unselfish play. Benton looked like he was going to drive one in from the corner. As Ban Close again. Oh yeah, Beaver Local, Beaver Local didn't waste any time getting the ball down the court. As Taylor puts the shot up and missed, and like you said, Close grabbed it and pulled it down. Now as Carafa is going to start the offense for the Red Knights. Dickinson for three. Wow, that just was an NBA. NBA three. I thought that was going to come down hard. It was like like just sliding around the rim. It was soft, saw a lot softer than I thought. Taylor takes it in strong against the big guy and gets the fall. We're at two here. A little hesitation shot there. He wanted to see if Benton would get up and try to block it, and he kind of just timed it a little different as Benton takes it in strong. That's just powerhouse basketball right there, buddy, in the paint. Benton. Yeah, absolutely. So Bauer looks, throws it right over down there to McKenzie. Mc nice ball movement once again, though, by Beaver Local, but it is stopped by a big man, number 33, and that's Mr. Benton. Again, good job. Good body control by Benton not to pick up the foul. Gets up high, pins it on the glass. 
Renate's chance here to regain, or not regain, but add to the lead. He's Benton fights for one. He up strong. Man, is he just Benton's starting to dominate <laughs> down low. He is. I mean, every game he plays, he, he is getting better and better. It's crazy. Passes, looks for Boyer coming down the other way. He gets the bouncing around, and it goes in. But I'm not sure if Benton's smack on the uh, backboard didn't help it kind of bounce a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, these guys are adjusting their shots. That was such a quick release. That's how you got to do it because if you if you take it up like a normal layup, uh, wow, that could have been ugly. As a, oh. Like slammed down. I don't think Blake hit his head, did he? I couldn't tell. He landed on there was luckily, <laughs> luckily or unluckily, depending on how how you want to look at it, there was already a beaver guy down on the floor he landed on. <laughs> you know? Benton goes high as they get it out to Baker as he skips passes over to Dickinson. Dickinson wanted to drop it in to Baker, but Baker's going to go ahead and get it to Carafa, and Rednecks are going to reset their offense. But like I was saying before, the guards have adjusted their shot. They know when Benton's down there, he's looking to swat. They're pinned against the glass, and they're really quick releases before he can jump. And that's kind of how you have Absolutely. to do it because if you take it down, like I was mentioning before the nasty collision there a minute ago, if you take it down, he's going to he's gonna get it. Oh, good head ben fake. Takes good it in with a nice fake. little finger roll, and it goes in for two. How about the patience that time by the Red Knights? They ran about a minute and a half off that clock, and good strong finish at the end. Nice head fake, dribble drive. Oh, man, I, I'm way behind on this. <laughs> you know what? I was Boyer. walking to the game today, and I said, I'm going to do a better job tonight, <laughs> and I didn't. Nice move by Bisnack. Couldn't get it in, or Bisnack couldn't get it in, and that was also a nice transition pass right there to Baker. Cam just comes short as it's pulled down by Beaver Local, and here they go the other way as he's, Taylor's going to set it back up for the, Panther, or for the Beavers. Another block. I'll tell you what, he may get a triple double tonight. <laughs> Good move. Close is going to take it in. No, a lot of contact, nothing called. But, and there we go. Yep. You're going to get a foul. That's going to put Benton on the line to shoot two. That should probably go against Stevenson. It is. His second. That's his second. Well, your uh, nephew, cousin, whatever is going to be coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> I see him over here ready to check in. I think he's going to have to come in as he picks up his second foul. Get in there. Uh, get in there. Yeah, that's going to that's going to pull in Owen. And trying to think who else? Just number three. Hunter Work. So here he is. Benton's shot rolls in. Shooters roll. 9-4 right now, buddy. Good start for the Red Knights thus far. <laughs> Offensively, defensively, playing, uh, playing within themselves. Good tempo for them. We got the scouting report from Coach Tucker that wanted to play our game and <laughs> not run. Right? I agree. Ball's on the ground. Oh, quick hands. Baker gets and comes down. Baker picks it from the backside. So here he goes. Baker gets it, sends it to Carafa. Carafa is setting the offense up for the Red Knights. Taylor on Carafa. Beavers pretty much just playing a man on defense as Dickinson gets it. Cooks had Carafa cut and just missed him as he gets over to Baker. I'm telling you what, every game we talk about how quick the Red Knights are and up and down the court is close, puts it up. Gets the shooter roll and it goes in for I'll close. I'll tell you what. Two great drives by Mr. Close there. 11-4. And scoring at the end of it. Nice shot. Got the shooter's roll to drop. 11-4 Red Knights. And the shot goes up by Bauer. He, he's going to get fouled and he's going to go to the line to shoot two. That's going to be on Baker. That's going to be his first. Yeah, that was interesting because that shot, he didn't hit it. I don't know if he hit him. Because it was well short. I mean, Benton came over to block and you just kind of alligator armed it you know, for the shot. First shot for him went in. Oh, yeah. 
It's a Boyer shot. Misses and pulls down by Close, gives it to Benton. <laughs> Benton's going to give it to a guard very quickly yeah. as the Red Knights come down the other yeah. way. Yeah, I think that's a good move. Well, Benton 50. can handle the ball, but you want Noah with it. Minute 50 is close drives it, looks for Benton underneath. Benton's going to go up. And the whistle is it's pulled down by Biznak, and here we go the other way. Boyer looks for the short corner. The shot is good. For three. Warnick. Good job, Red Knights need to press pretty easy. Ball points up, gives him to Baker. Baker goes in. He misses it. Benton's going to keep it. He's going to go for the shot. He gets blocked. And it's going to be close, out of bounds. It's going to go Beaver's ball. Well, I'll tell you what, you can't, you can't argue for effort, boy. We are, no. we are scrapping underneath. And I apologize, I'm taking a little bit longer saying numbers and names, but if you're looking at the roster, the numbers are all over the place. I have to find them. Well, that's, yeah, I hate when coaches do that. They, <laughs> he did it based on grade level, not on number, you know. <laughs> so Boyer takes it in. Picks it up and throws it right to Baker. And here goes Baker the other way. Close. Back to Carafa, and here they go with a new offensive play set. Still in man is Fever Local. Looks down to Benton. Tried to let Benton go to work. He gets pickpocketed by Boyer. Picks the ball right back up and throws it outside to the corner. Nice ball movement by the Red Knights. Yeah, I'm taking care of the ball. I mean, patience is the key as absolutely. Dickinson from down from downtown in the short corner. That's good for three. Well, fantastic. Coming down to the last shot here underneath 10 seconds. Going to be a deep three ball maybe. Warning over to McKenzie. McKenzie hits the side of the back. Warning gives Baker, and that's when the buzzer will sound, and we come to the end of the first quarter. With a score, your Red Knights 14 Beaver Local, eight. So far, buddy, you, what what do you see in this game so far? I see a lot of positives. We are, we're taking care of the ball. We're boxing out. Uh, we, Benton has already blocked three or four shots down low. We're doing a great job with help defense. We're, we're running the floor. We're patient on offense. Mm -hmm. Waiting. We're, I mean, we're running, uh, you know, 45 to a minute off the clock and then getting some nice, easy buckets. Uh, we're scrapping offensively on the boards, both sides of the ball, or offensive and defensive. Uh, great start for the Red Knights. We've Absolutely. had a couple that just were unlucky and didn't fall in, but you're going to get that. So overall, I think, I think we came out strong here in the first. I agree, and Benton has been just a force to be reckoned with down low so far this first quarter. Yep. So I want to give a quick shout-out if I can. Sure. I was told there was a couple, so Mr. Doug Manning's listening out there. we got some Columbus connections tonight. That's great. He's listening out there, and also, uh, well, her maiden name, Meredith Dickinson. Oh, okay. Right, Sweeney now. But she she is uh, out there listening. Their father told me. So we'll have to give them a shout-out. Very cool. We appreciate them. They watch us every time they have the opportunity to they to watch it, and they, we do appreciate that. Yeah, she chose not to go to the beach. She stayed home to Did watch she us. she really? Or not us, but <laughs> the basketball team. <laughs> so Carafa, Toronto is going to get the ball here to start the second quarter as Carafa takes it. Takes it half court. court. Red Knight. Over to close. Back over to the top of the Dickinson is the top of the key. Dickinson looks. Throws it. Baker is wide. He's going to go ahead and try to dribble drive it and knock it to Benton, but the Beavers do a nice job. Well, and uh, very well executed. Great spacing by the Red Knights. Be actually, Baker was wide open for the three. He chose not to do it and dribble drive, tried to get it to Benton, but he could have shot the three or uh, or the two because I, I hate that pass from like three feet. I agree. You know what I mean? Like, just shoot it. <clears throat> As business as Biznak goes to take a reverse layup and gets blocked. Again by Benton. Yippers. <laughs> it is going to be, of course, Fever Local's ball as the Red Knights pull it down. And here we go the other way as Carafa is going to bring the ball up. 
McKenzie gets the honor of Garden Carafa. As the shot goes up from Dickinson, Ooh. just in and out as Taylor brings it down. Man, he's rattling those. And Beaver Local takes it across halfway, half court. And here we go. Ooh. Nice ball movement by the Beaver Local as it gets it to the short corner. All right, so let's see what we can Sport do here. Puts it in for three. Dickinson doesn't. We got a travel on Dickinson. Got a little happy feet there at the end. Tanner Hensel going to check in the ball game for the Red Knights. Going to give Betton a quick breather. Uh, like I said, we'll see how we do. We have a tendency to fall. We start out good. Have a tendency to <laughs> sure. a little lackluster maybe in the second. 2-2-1 oh, press break or press by the Red Knights. Wasn't able to stop Beaver Local as they moved the ball very, very well and got what? in for two points. Well, oh, what did I give them? I think I did that wrong. 14-13 is the score. Throws the ball out back yeah, to the top of the twice. key. Carafa's going to take it himself on a beautiful layup. Had him on his hip and took it all the way in for two. Well, you can see the offensive game plan. When they know Benton isn't in there, <laughs> they're taking it into the, to the low post. It's I mean, it's a, it's a different it's a different philosophy here without him in the ball game for us. A good job, good step in by Tanner Ensel to intercept that pass. Great job. Baker brings it down, looking to throw it. Got Carafa, top of the key. Uh, and this is key for the Red Knights. We have to be able to play without Benton in there down low. You know what I mean? And oh, yeah. control the ball, which we are right now. We're running some clock and and be able to match point for point. But we didn't take the threat out that much because you still got close in there. Who's well, you do to as well. Yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. But but we're gonna get Baker with an offensive foul. Yep. He's gonna. Uh, That's just two. He pushed. I don't know something charged. So. All right. So we're gonna get. Benton back in the ball game. Close now coming out, and we certainly hope. Who is that? Oh, that's a. Uh, it's actually number one on the is ground. That Taylor? Taylor, Brock Taylor. Yeah, hopefully he's okay. I don't know. Might have got landed on Jimmy. Our trainer's going over to check him out. Certainly hope he's okay. I just saw him laying there. I was talking about other stuff. And well, as we have this timeout, Chris Barkus and his crew watching tonight. And uh, shout out to my my cousin Dave watching. Hey Dave, I appreciate <laughs> David. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the roster. I'm off my game a little bit, man. It's throwing me. Yeah. Normally, you just look straight down the line. You got it, and you go from there. You know. But as the, Jimmy and them are being attended to. I want to take the opportunity to thank some of our sponsors. And as J.E. Foster Funeral Homes in Toronto, Ohio. We don't have them loaded anymore? <laughs> they, they are loaded. <laughs> are uh, they? Someone accidentally deleted it. Oh. The sponsor marquee. I went to look for it oh, you earlier did? today. And okay. Anyway, go sure, ahead to your sponsors. J.E. Foster Funeral Homes here in Toronto. We appreciate Jay and his dad for everything that they do for us. Also, Mr. Mike Biasi from Valley Converting who, once again, if we ever need anything, is always right there. We always. give him a call. And, yep. and not just with us, but anything in Toronto. Right. De Carlos Pizza, North 4th Street in Toronto. Jim Paul and Joanne. Got M&M Hardware. Yeah. M&M Hardware in Steubenville. Right. Mr. Scott, always there. Jefferson County Cable. Our real Couldn't do without him, huh? No, absolutely not. Jefferson County Cable. Um, of course, carries all the games for us that we happen to do in, on Channel 9 for us. and We truly appreciate it. Not just that, but you know, we have questions or anything with, you know, our signal aren't working, isn't working at the stadiums, or, you know, it's one call and he's always there to help us fix it. And we truly, truly do appreciate it. So, <laughs> Marcus says, send me a picture of the roster. I'll put it in numerical order for you. <laughs> Where the heck is he? I don't know. You know? He looks like he's just kind of chilling. Uh, anyway. All right. So I was ta uh, actually Tucker texted us earlier some keys to the win uh, for them to win. 
keys to the game, right? It's got to run their sets, which so far they've done. I would say check mark in that box. Yes. Um, they overplay. We look for some back doors. Um, the jab steps are very effective. Get them going one way, and then the back door can be real, real effective and, uh, and wide open. Uh, we're going to try and dribble at the zone, kick out, and uh, got to get a lot of movement about the uh, a lot of movement against the two-three zone. Which, again, Ooh. check mark. I, I think we've done exceptionally well, at least starting out here. You know, um, wow, he's still down. Holy cow! Hopefully, he's okay. They're evaluating. I don't know what they're checking. I can't tell if it's a leg or shoulder. You know what I mean? I agree. They're gonna sit him up. Oh, he looks. Looks like he's in a little bit of pain there. Hopefully he's all right. I mean, I keep saying that, but I really, wow. I'm trying to see around to see what is going on. Yeah. As they're working on him. Anyway, um, not to, we can talk about, well, let them tend to him. I don't want to, you know. No, I absolutely. Make it worse. <laughs> so, not, uh, but anyway, I mean, um, 2-3 zone, we're moving the ball very effectively. We get a lot of movement through the zone, get them out of position, looking for some diagonal passes some, and cuts. Well, there's one good thing right there, so if I didn't mean to he cut you off, up. but he is yeah, up on He is up. Oh, he's gimping, though. Oh, it's his back. I think maybe? it's his hip. or his, He's like holding. See how he's got his. Oh, it's his back. So it looks like his back. Yeah, maybe? it is his back. But listen, I have back problems. I can. Feel for the feel for him. <laughs> Absolutely. That's that's uh, that's your back's attached to everything. I remember. Oh, man, it is I hurting mine, and man, you can't even sneezing, yawning. I mean, <laughs> breathing real big. You know, <laughs> like shoulder movements. Anything. Yeah, anything. So we certainly wish him the best. Yeah, he's in some pain. If you're just joining us, welcome to the George J. Cooner Gymnasium. As he just threw the ball back into play. And Beaver Local will take it down. Beaver Local looks to the middle. Looks for Biznak as they get it back out to McKenzie. McKenzie drops it low to Biznak. Drops it to Warnick. Back over to McKenzie. They're pretty much running the corner as his shot goes up. It's going to miss, come down by Owen Hill. Well, that one you didn't have to look up. No, <laughs> I knew that one. Yeah. <laughs> As the shot goes up for Warnick one more time, and it goes in for three. 16-16, well, we're all knotted up here, pal. Yeah. I mean, the three ball keeps you in the game. I mean, I, I would say without the three ball, we're, you know, it's keeping Beaver Local in the game. Right now, I think the Red Knights have the advantage. They played better than Beaver thus far. But the game's tied because the three ball definitely changes the complexity, you know, of the game. We are running very good sets, very patient with the ball. Good head fake by Carafa. Yeah, Baker's going to take it back up to the Carafa and then give it to Dickinson at the top of the key. So look, as Dickinson goes to take it, Skips passes it over to Carafa as Carafa runs the offense from the top of the key. Yeah, Beaver switched into a man. Mm -hmm. Beaver's in a man, so oh, it was a deep three ball from Baker. Owen oh, brings a rebound down, kicks it off to McKenzie, and here comes Beaver Local down the other way. I mean, you get hot from the three ball, and it's a different game. Here's a good shot. Wow. Hill for three. They are lighting up the threes. 19-16. I mean, again, Beaver it's Local. frustrating as, uh, as the other team because you play exceptionally well. You run your offense. You run a good minute and a half or so off the clock. You don't get a bucket. They go down and... Then seconds bury a three, and you find yourself down. It's very frustrating. Oh, it is, and he had Benton on the roll, just missed it. As Dickinson takes it over and gives it to Baker. As Baker's going to try to dribble and drive. He's not going to be able to. As he now drives it in, kicks it right back out to Dickinson. Dickinson for three, and it's good. Yeah, we needed that. You got to start matching some threes here. 19 all here. 3-0-9. Plenty of time left. I mean, you go back to the fundamentals, get some turnovers defensively. Hill back out to McKenzie. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not McKenzie. That is Boyer. We get a, we get a jump ball. We get a jump ball. Good job, Tanner Hensel, with some quick hands there. And Blake Close finally getting in the game. He, he's been there for, <laughs> for a little while trying to get in without uh, there wasn't a dead ball to get him in. 
So now Carafa comes out to get a breather. So ball be tips out. It's going to fall in the Tanner's hands, and Baker's going to run the offense for the Red Knights. Yeah. Close. Gets it. No one's there. He's going to try to drop it to Baker. Or, I'm sorry, Benton. Oh, good hustle. As Benton hustles really, really hard. Man, that what good hustle to keep that possession alive for the Red Knights. Good job. Oh, there's Cam Baker. Bet How, Cam Baker. And the foul. I think they called that on Owen, your uh, cousin. <laughs> he did. He did. And it is. <laughs> good strong take. How about the lane wide open? Baker recognizes it, right? Crossover dribble and goes to the other side of the hoop. Gets the foul and has enough body control and power and strength to finish it. Chance for the old-fashioned three-point play here. Well, the thing is, what really helped him out is he had Boyer on his hip. He did. And once he was on his hip, he had free access right to that hoop. Well, that's the old the old uh, adage in basketball. You know, if I'm if you're on my hip, I beat you. That's it. Right? I'm going to keep going now. I ain't going to slow, slow down and let you get back in front of me. Oh, here we go. Trying yeah. to force it into Hill as it's stolen by close. And he's going to get fouled right there by Warnick. Well, and, and again, you know, they hit a couple threes. They haven't scored many in the paint. No. Ben Benton's been deterring a lot of shots, and so is close. Um, but what I've noticed is, like I just said, you know, a couple minutes ago, you get some turnovers with your defense, and, and, and we're, we ratcheted up the pressure, you know, and, and forcing them actually to shoot from shoot. the outside. Carafa checks back in. Baker's wide open for the three, and that's what he does. Drains it. Well, and just like that, we match a couple threes. This, I was going to say, before those two baskets we just had, and good timeout by Coach here from Beaver Local, uh, I was going to say, it was an 11-5 to run in the second. You know, we, we started out good, and I said sometimes we slack off, and not slack off, but just things, we slow down. Right. I don't want to slack off some terrible term. We slow down for whatever reason, generally in the second, some, you know what I mean? And we were, they were, uh, Beaver Look was on 11 to 5 run. Red Knights have now cut that on a 5 0 run themselves in the last uh, minute 45 or so mm -hmm. to now it's an 11 10 quarter, right? It's only a one point difference now. And, and as a result, we're up five. We were up six after the first, now we're up five. But again, that starts defensively here, and then we got hot. Couple three balls, nice penetration dribble by uh, Baker with the foul. Um, so good job by the Red Knights recovering and, and, and going back at it. So 142 here to play in the second quarter. 24 19 Red Knights. As Boyer takes it for Beaver Local. His neck. Red Knights in the zone. As the shot goes up, misses close is gonna actually it's gonna be pulled down. Yeah, had a trap in the corner, he got out of it. Looking as Heddleson puts it in for two. Coming up on the one minute mark. Red Knights just keep playing their game. Looks like they drop back in. No, they're coming up. Okay, they were, looked like they were going to drop back into the zone, but they're back to their man. As they skip past it all the way to Baker, Baker's going to shoot the three, and it goes in. I'll tell you what, Mr. Baker's starting to, that's back-to-back -back threes for him. He's starting to feel it from the arc. Could be a big, big night for him. Swarnick sends it over to Boyer. Boyer's looking down low, tries to thread the needle. He's not going to be able to. Is it close? Is going to stop there and take it. As close goes coast to coast with it, and he goes in for two. How about the nice fake? In transition to Carafa on the wing and then keeps it and takes it all the way in and finishes it. Again, defensive turnover, right? We're Absolutely. getting turnovers, stepping in, creating some offensive opportunities for us. Warnick driving around outside once again, tries to get it low. He does, but Boyer's going to take it. Dribbles drives pretty much as what? Ten seconds. As a three ball from wow. pretty far away from the arc, and it goes in. Carafa sets it off for a half-court shot. And Jess comes a little short as the horn sounds. And we are at the end of the second quarter. So we go into halftime. 
right here at the George J. Coonser Gymnasium with the score, your Red Knights 29, Beaver Local 24. We're going to take this time out as uh, we're going to recoup a little bit. And, and uh, Mr. Barkus sent me a uh, sent me a roster with them all in order, and we'll go from there, pal. For Mr. Rob Suffolet, I'm Rich Cover. We'll be back here as uh, it is halftime with the score, your Red Knights 29, Beaver Local 24.
And welcome back to the George A. Kunzer Gymnasium for, as we get ready for the fourth year game, Beaver Local versus the Toronto Red Knights. Two minutes on the clock here before we get ready to uh, tip off the second half with the score. Your Red Knights 29, Beaver Local 24. I'm Rich Coburn. He is Mr. Rob Safaletta. And uh, I'm telling you, so far, pal, it's been a kind of like a run and shoot game. And what I mean by that is, I mean, we're getting the ball off the rim quickly, hitting the outlets, getting across half court. And then we're setting up the offense for the Red Knights, taking the time that they need and being real patient with the ball and looking for the unstoppable force in the paint, which is, happens to be Benton. Yeah, uh, I agree with all that. Uh, the thing of it is, so we are definitely playing our game. Uh, the tempo right now favors us. We're, we're staying within ourselves, like I said a little while ago, but I think we our defense has stepped up and we have been able to hit some transition buckets, as you said, and get some points off of those transitions. Uh, very, very good. We're, we're out and running, and I think extremely patient on offense, right? Absolutely. Um, yeah, so we're looking for Benton. They're looking to double-team him and triple-team him. He's able to score some. He's had some issues, but Benton recognizing that if he's doubled, somebody's got to be open and unselfishly kicking it out. And toward the tail end of that first half, uh, Cam Baker just got hot as heck. He did. Burying some couple threes. He, You know, he uh, the dribble drive, taking contact and finishing strong. Try, almost made the three-point play the other uh, the old-fashioned way. Um, not a ton of turnovers. I don't want to jinx us. You know, I mean, they're going to happen, but you got to minimize the turnovers, which we've done. And we've matched three ball for three ball, and um, pretty much. And as a result, Absolutely. we're up five. That's exactly, I agree, I agree with Mike. Mm -hmm. So as what did he say? He said the whole entire idea should put a body on 33, which yeah. is true. Well, and, uh, and that was the other thing. Uh, what you call it? Stephenson or well, Stevenson, Stevenson, whatever. He got in some foul trouble, had to come mm -hmm. out. He picked up two fouls quick, right, and early. He's mm -hmm. back in the ball game now. Here he is guarding Benton. So they're going to look for close, just a little bit too far under the hoop as it's going to go out of bounds, but last touched by Warnick. Well, and I, that, that one in particular I didn't like because Blake got too far under the hoop to even receive the pass. You can't go that deep in the baseline. And you can't leave Baker out there in the corner like that. That normally doesn't miss that as he well, can't see a number. Pulled can't down, make I them all, by, but yeah, it was a good look. That business. was my thing. It was a good look. Well, and here's the other big thing for Beaver Local. Their point guard's out. Yeah. Yes, he, he's leaving the gym right now. Look. He is. I tried to get an update on him during halftime, I, I but did. I didn't want to bother. I did get an update. Did I, you? Yeah, I was in the bathroom, and a couple players came in, <laughs> and I was <laughs> asking them. Not to get too graphic about it, but. No, like I said, uh, I just wanted he to has, make sure. uh, He's had back issues in the past. He's had some spasms, and so they're going to go probably go get him checked out. Which is a smart idea. Yeah. Yep. As Boyer takes it into Benton, pulls it right back out, looks for Stevenson. As Stevenson pulls it right back out to Boyer as it goes to the top of the key. Again, Red Knights in a zone. I actually think what helped Beaver Local is when he actually got out of theirs and went into a man. Yeah. But here we go. They're, they're actually going to stay in man, Beaver Local is, for the second half so far to start it out. Dickinson. Goes to the top of the key, drives it over to Carafa. Carafa, oh, yeah. nice bounce pass into the lane, into Benton. And Benton went to work as he puts it in for two points. That was pretty. That was pretty. That was uh, kind of a set play, I think, as Coach Tuck called that one in. Um, Carafa came around, knew exactly. Benton, good position down low. Ball goes into Poyer, sees Biznak wide open and goes in for two. Yeah, good offensive rebound, good quick shot because you can't let Benton get rotate over there. He's going to probably block it as Carafa takes it strong. Tips it back out as Dickinson's going to grab it, but it's going to uh -oh. be tipped Numbers. off again as Boyer. Numbers. Just threw it a little bit too far for Boyer to get. Thank goodness. He was wide. Hornick. 
takes it back to the top of the key. It actually benefits us. It lets us uh, get back in defense and transition because they were going to have a layup. <laughs> easy. Yeah, they were going to have a layup and pull within one. They're going to make them work for it a little bit now. Run a half-court set. McKenzie looks down for Warnick. Warnick for three from the outside. And it's in. Boy, I'm going to tell you, they just won't go away, man. I tell you, if you can shoot from the outside, especially the three ball, you can can be competitive in a lot of games. Carafa, top of the key, gives it to Baker. Baker looks, just kind of loses his dribble a little bit as he picks it up. He's going to go strong to the hoop. Misses it, pulled down by Boyer, and here we come on a three on two. Boyer Pick kicks out. to the corner for three. Warnick drains it. And that's going to cause Coach Tucker to take a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout by the Red Knights. Well, back-to-back -back threes, man, changes the dynamic of a game, does Absol it not? Absolutely it does. I mean, uh, hot start here for Beaver Local. 10-2 run to start this third quarter. And it was a smart timeout by Coach Tuck. Yeah, he definitely needed to stop the bleeding and, get, and break some of that momentum. Beaver Local starting to get some momentum. Those threes from the corner, same kid, same spot. Drains them Doesn't both. Miss. No, he drains them both. And uh, just like that, when they find themselves down, you know, they were up five at the beginning of the quarter, and now they're down three. So I need to, I really seriously need to take the time here to, to thank Mr. Barkus because he actually, yeah, he hooked you up. For he sure. literally took the roster and put them in alphabetical order for he, me. So he definitely hooked you up. Chris, for sure. I appreciate it, pal. So my phone's in front of me. So. It's going to be Red Knight's ball coming out as Baker will take it out, throw it into Carafa. Still, Beaver Local in the man. As Warnick's going to get the opportunity to guard Carafa. As it comes right back out to Dickinson, Carafa gets him to lose it. Ball comes down. It's going to be tipped, but back into Baker's hands as Dickinson's open for the corner shot of the three. Misses it, gets his own rebound, goes to power it up. And Benton's just going to pretty much take it out of the hands of Stevenson. Stevenson saves it, but he gets stripped from Warnick. And here we come down the other way as Warnick does a smart thing. Wow. And does recovery dribble. Holy cow, there must be a lid on that hoop. Looks it over to Stevenson. Stevenson gets him to jump high, throws it back over to Warnick for wow. three. And that's going to be his third in a row, pal. Wow. Man, is he on fire from three. Just lights out shooting from the corner. He likes either corner. It must be his favorite spot on the floor because he's Ooh. buried three in a row. And the funny thing is it's just not one side. It, it's from both sides of the corner. As Benton has it. Looks like he's going to go one. Oh, no. He gets the ball to Steven, or, uh, Dickinson. As this time, it's going to be as Benton's going to actually touch him while he was out of bounds. It's going to be Beaver Local's ball. Well... Tanner Ensel going to come in, give Bre uh, Dickinson a breather. But, man, I tell you what, Beaver Local has actually stepped up their defense. And, mm -hmm. uh, they're letting them play. I mean, there's a lot of hand checking and stuff, and they're getting some turnovers out of it. Look, he's wide open in that back corner again, but they decided not to and give it to Biznak, and he went pretty much right into Benton and put it in for two. 39-31. Red Knights, here Red Knights need a bucket on this possession. we got to stop this bleeding because we haven't scored a field goal here in a long time. Close. Puts it up. Misses it. Benton's right there. He tries to put it up, and he does. It very goes in. Very important right there. They were on a 15-2 run. That's only our fourth point in the third quarter, and we're uh, underneath three minutes to go. That's going to break it up. Once again, the corner, he head fakes at that time, takes it in, drops it into Biznak, and he puts it in for two. Pretty well executed there. A little dribble Next. drive baseline. You get Benton in the air, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the unselfish play is the defender comes out on you. That's going to be tipped. It's a nice call by Mr. Staffelino. Ball on the floor. You know I mean? Biz Biznak goes up for it. And the coach is going to get the timeout. That was a nice job right there by the head coach of Beaver Local to recognize what was going on and call the timeout. That's Nick Miller. Yeah, we're having a little trouble with the, the increased pressure. Now, some of those are borderline fouls, but they're letting them play, so I got no problem with it because it's on both ends. We could definitely do that and step up our game and start hand-checking and getting in their shorts. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Getting right up in there in their personal space. Don't give them the bubble, you know? 
Agreed. because we have definitely had some issues with that in, the la in this quarter. It's obvious they came out at halftime and said, hey, we're going to have to step up our intensity level to get back in this one, and they did. Like I said, they're on a 17-4 to run now. <laughs> Red Knights have to find an answer, settle down, and step up their own, try to get some turnovers like they did in the, first in the first half off the defense. And what's really interesting right now, 225 on the clock. I mean, this quarter has pretty much flown by. Yeah. As Boyer takes it. Red Knights putting the pressure on now. Kind of three-fourths of the court. Tanner right on top of him. Absolutely. Bisnick. Red now he's at the Red top Knights of the in a key. man. Red Knights have switched defenses. We're now in man-to-man -man here. This is where Red Knights can get we'll dangerous. See how they can, we'll see how they handle the pressure. Good job as Carafa steps in. Here we go. And Turnover. We're get a whistle blown from get a whistle. Back, the back official. Again, we were just talking about Red Knights came out, said, hey, we recognize that we need to increase our defensive intensity. They go from zone to man. Beaver Loco doesn't handle it. And the Red Knights do a really, really nice job putting the pressure on the other teams for the fact that they're right inside your pocket. They're right, well, quote, quote unquote, they're in your grill. And uh, they're not going nice to really let back. you shoot much. No. All right. Wide Benton. open paint right now. Benton goes up, puts the seal on it, is close, doesn't get it. Drops it down, looks for Ensel, and he's just going to be stolen well, by. I like Bisnack. the give and go. I like the two man game. It's just too many guys there for Beaver Local. You know what I mean? Guess who's in the corner? Oh my gosh. Take a guess. That's Warnick. And it's three, and it's good. He has not missed this quarter. Everything he's thrown up from the corner three ball wise has gone in, I think. Benton has it at the top of the key. Incredible. No, I'm sorry. No, you're good. But that was a nice give and go right there. It was close. Did a nice cut. His player was in front of the read line and took back, took off. He took back door. Underneath a minute here. Wow. It's close. Quarter has flown by. Boyer looks, pulls it right back out, gives it to Walnick, and he's going to get fouled by Carafa. Yeah, good job. We, we, we Crafton stepped in. You. Well, he stepped in, tried to get the trap, and at the same time he did that, he decided to dribble out of the corner <laughs> and kind of ran into Carafa. He wasn't set all the way yet, you know what I mean? So he's going to pick up a foul. That's all he knows first. There's not a lot of fouls this game. There's only one on each team this half. Heck, did we even we didn't have many last quarter or last uh, half either total. Ball movement by Beaver local. As Boyer takes it, McKenzie. McKenzie throws the shot up. It's going to be missed. Ensel's going to bring it down. And here comes the Red Knights the other way. It's like a four-on-one right now as it pulls up. Gives him time as Baker steps up past the three-point line. Two on the ground. Misses, pulls down by Dickinson. I mean, he really couldn't see. I had an official right in front of yeah, him. Yeah, so. yeah. Hill takes it in and goes in for two. Seven seconds on the clock and counting. Baker goes. Boyer not letting him shoot. Steps past the three-point line. The shot goes up and hits the front of the rim, back of the rim, and then falls out as we go into the fourth quarter here, buddy, with the score. Beaver Local 46, Red Knights 35. Big, big quarter for Beaver Local right there. 22 to 6. They outscored us. Um, in your eyes, what have you seen them do differently? They just they came out and just pressure. ratcheted it up to pressure. They are, they, we are having trouble taking care of the ball. They're creating a lot of turnovers with the defensive intensity. And actually, you know, they're poke checking the ball out of there. Some, like I said, some of those I think are fouls, but they're letting them play. So if they're doing it on both ends, that's fine. Mm -hmm. We, you know. Um, it's it's gonna be it's a physical game, and right now Beaver Locals just kind of, you know, Agreed. making us a little bit uh, uncomfortable. You know what I mean? It's kind of interesting. Well, and the difference other two on fire three oh. like three or four threes. I mean, <laughs> you know, and he has eight threes in this game so far. Pal. How many did he have that quarter? That's Warnick, uh, eight threes so far in that quarter alone was four. That's what I thought. So he's got 12 points just that quarter of the 22 that they scored. 
And I just got to let you know, you know, I have Mr. Mike Roach beside me. I got to thank him. Yeah. Because he lets me know every single stat I possibly need to know. And I truly appreciate Mike to make me sound a whole lot better than what I am. It's, it's my Barkus in basketball is kind of what I like to say. As the ball comes in, hands it over to McKenzie. McKenzie gives it to Biznak. Biznak was going to, drops it off. Boyer to Hill for three. Just off the rim, back over. Hill on Benton. Takes it, looks. Gives it right back off to Biznak. Biznak takes it to Hill. Hill, nice move, goes in for two. Yeah, you got to give him credit for that one. He get, got Benton in the air, and then just a little step around, easy layup. His dad taught him everything he knows. <laughs> I know he's listening, so I can say that. Uh, as Benton is wide. Oh, Biznick comes from around. He's going to foul him as the pass was coming into Benton. Yeah, the lob pass lets the defense rotate and make that play. The crisp pass does not. But there's a defender in your way, so you, you know, maybe fake high, go low. Um, there's a mismatch over there now. No, it's back to normal now. That's close. Looks to throw. He's behind the behind the. Good uh, job by Baker. Hoop saving it. Baker takes it up. Benton's there. He misses it. Shot. Benton grabs his own rebound again. Puts it up. He misses again. I mean, is there a lid on that or what? And here comes Biznak for two points down the other way. I mean, we had three point blank shots and they just didn't go. And the I, bad I, thing about it is one do? foot away from the hoop. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I mean. Hill with a block, throws it out. It's going to be Biznick. Gets him the jump, the shot, and the bucket's going to count. It's going to be on close. The bucket uh, will count. Here's another thing that's changed this half. Tempo. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Uh, we are winded. We are winded. We're not extremely deep on the bench you know you got about six guys playing six seven guys man it's we are winded for sure that's an old-fashioned three-point play right there for Biznak as Carafa brings the ball down over to close the pressure as Dickinson goes takes it in again we just can't, can't get it to buy fall. it Ball comes through as Stevens is right there. And the foul is going to be called on number five, McKenzie. So that's going to be McKenzie's second, I believe. Yep. And that's going to put long, or not long, it's going to put close on the line to shoot two. Rattles around, falls out. Tell you what, man. Sometimes you just we it, we just can't get it to fall. Agreed. I mean, the backside of two swishes for close that time as first, Benton checks back in the game for the Red Knights. That's our first point of the quarter. Really? Yeah. Right now they're they've outscored a seven to one in the fourth. Boyer gets in. The Red Knights putting the pressure on Beaver Local. Beaver Local does a nice job moving the ball though, gets across court. Biznick takes it in, or Biznak takes it in and goes in for two. That's Carafa brings it back over. Benton does a nice block, had a nice roll on it, just missed him. Play a little two-man game with Mr. Benton, a little too high on the pass. As uh, we're gonna get another Brady uh, Close gonna check in. Aren't right, so close. Fair. Brady Fair is going to check in. Another good ball handler for the Red Knights. And give, uh, who do you take out? Oh, Nolan. Nolan. As Stevenson gets it, pulls it right back over to Warnick because the Red Knights are now going to amp up their side of things. But Beaver Local's ball movement was is just quick and beats the breast kind of easy. Carafa. Dribbles to the right, looks for Benton on the top of the key. 
Fair gets it, takes it to the top. Tanner Ensel gets his pocket. Well, Ball's I'm everywhere, saying. and Baker's going to get it. He has now it's a three on one. Benton does a nice job. Oh, my but gosh. Just can't make the shot. That's what I'm saying. It's not for lack of effort. Is uh, uh, Well, I mean, you give him 10 shots he from makes, there. I know what you're going to say. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, he makes 10. 10 of them. I mean, come on. It's just one of his games, man. We're just getting some good looks. We're just not getting him to drop. I mean, uh -oh. it's so frustrating as a player, as a fan, coach. You know what I mean? Agreed. Why did the thing just kick off? What thing? The game. Oh, I don't know. The huddle camera's down. It just went off. <laughs> All right. Well, that's why you're here. Do we lose power? No. We're just... So here we go. Biznak takes it down for two. So we'll be with you here very soon as the camera kicked off. We're trying to get it back on here very, very quick to you. I know you can still hear us. Just give us one second. Because we're really not sure what happened. We apologize about that. 402, at least you can still hear hey, us. we're back up. At least you can still hear us. Yeah, I didn't know if they could or not. Yeah, I just, the huddle camera just well, kind of shut down on us, but we're back. Yeah, we got a line change now. And yeah, we got a timeout from Beaver Local, but we got a line change from the Red Knights. 402 to go, 61-36, 15-1. We've scored one point this quarter. Not, not that we couldn't have scored more. We just like seems like a lid on the hoop, just not falling. We've had great shots. They're just not dropping. Oh, and I agree. I mean, it, you know, sometimes you, you get that, but it's so frustrating, you know. Oh, so Coach Tucker's going to get some the younger guys some action here. As this one's getting kind of out of control. You know, we're 25 down now with. About four minutes to go. So we'll see how this one finishes. But uh, like I said, we uh, we got some some work left to do here. So 402 left in this one, 61-36. Beaver local. Beaver's in that man. And as you're right, it does look like a complete line change. The only one it is, is, is Boyer. Baker. And Boyer's in there too. Yeah. Good take by Cam. Cam Baker, nice strong move. We needed that bucket. We need a lot more of them. Warnick looks. Tries to get it to Hill for a dunk, just misses it. Yeah, he tried Fire a little alley low. He's going to get fouled by Warnick. Warwick. To second. Team fourth on Beaver. First shot goes up, rattles in and out. 3.29 here to play in the fourth quarter. Backside of two goes in. For Buchanan. So here we go down the other way. Hill takes it in. I can't see. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it was missed. 
It's actually Heddleston. Heddleston. First one, no good. We've got a couple Buchanan guys checking in now. We're going to get Buchanan taken out. Jenkins in the ball game. Uh, Henry coming out as Jenkins checks back in too for the Red Knights. His backside of two, he misses it as Fair gets the ball, and here we come down the other way. Baker looks. Baker's going to try to come down through, but a nice defense by Boyer right there. Ball on the floor. It's going to go right into the hands as they throw it to Hill. He's going to get the ball taken away from him. Ball's on the Good floor. Job. Now they're all on the floor. Jump ball favors the Red Knights. It's a nice hustle right there. Well, I'm going to tell you what. That's what you got to do. You know what I mean? They've done that to us all night. Mm -hmm. In transition, they come, and they've reached and grabbed, and they're letting them do it. So we that's what I mean by a little bit more aggressive. You know, they're going to let you do it. They're letting, it's getting done to you. Green. You know, and look what it did. It creates jump ball turnover. Red Knights have a chance to cut into that lead. And get a little double dribble on the Red Knights. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the trance. That's all right. I was waiting. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm along for the ride, man. As Boyer, <laughs> Boyer gets it down from three from downtown. Just going to be missed as Baker is going to get it. Baker tries to go behind the back. And it's going to be a walking call. Well, once again, they're getting their hands in there on the ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, the, but it's been, I got to give them credit. It's, They've let it go all game. It's been consistent, so I got no problem with that, like I said. But nice Dickinson's step in. Gonna just take that. Drops it off to Tanner. Tanner puts it in for two. Good job. Make the defender come and play you and then dish it to the open guy. Great job. Boyer picks up his dribble, throws it over to Warnick as he gets across. Looks to open. Wow. Passed he that the, shot up. That's what I was going to say. That's why I paused for a minute. He had the shot and just didn't take it. Yeah, it was crazy. Hill gets it, throws it outside, back over. Boyer for three. Misses it. Yeah, that's We're going to give you over the back. Be, absolutely. Absolutely. And they are. Over the back on Hill. That's going to be his second. As work is going to have a seat. Get a couple more substitutions. Uh, minute 38, going to take out some of the starters for Fever Local and put a couple of them back in <laughs> that were already taken out. Not sure how deep really they're, they're kind of looking at this. One, two, three, four, five seniors for Fever Local that they'll lose next year as Dickinson takes it up strong. Stevenson pulls that one down. Also, Johnston is in. As the shot goes up, and he goes in for two points. That's Daly. Go through the hands and out of bounds. Yeah, he just took his eyes off it. Mm -hmm. Trying to do something with it before, before he had it. And now we've got a total line change. Is they're going to, the two starters they put back in are now coming out. And the Red Knights also making some substitutions. I'm looking right now, and it looks like they're all freshmen on the court for Beaver Local. I'm sorry, there's two sophomores. My fault. So here we go as the ball comes back into play. A minute left here to go. 
Ball goes down. It's going to be kind of a kicked by number 50. Red Knights are going to take the ball. So under a minute to play here in this game, 63-41. Beaver local. Goes it over to Buchanan. Buchanan looks for Thomas. Keeps the ball moving. Looks, he's going to dribble drive. A nice dribble drive take, but he's going to get fouled as, Absolutely. He, as he goes up. First shot up, misses. As that's going to pull Hill out. And also, number four, Germanovich. Backside of two goes in. So Chase Heckathorn puts in one out of two. Good and hands. that time there he's he going to bat that one down and gives it back to the Red Knights. As Henry looks, it's going to be taken away as Beaver Local takes it up. He's going to miss it. Landon Grimes brings it down. Drops it right off to Heckathorn again. Heckathorn's going to go against the bigger man. And they're not going to blow the whistle. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Red Knight's ball. 11.4 seconds left here to play in this game. Looks. Throws it to Buchanan. Buchanan back to Thomas. Thomas is going to go. Not going to be able to get his to fall either. Must be that hoop. As Buchanan takes it. Nice little move. He takes it in. As there it is. As the final horn buzzes here. At the George J. Coonser Gymnasium. It's your final. Beaver Local 63. Your Red Knights 42. Well. <laughs> a good start. We had a great first half take a five-point lead in, and then the wheels just came off in the second quarter. I think the Beaver Local switched to the man, and they, they started getting a lot more physical. We had trouble with it, and uh, they outscored us 22 to 6 in the third, and they started out with a 15-1 run <laughs> in the fourth, and we battled back a little bit here at the end to get to a 17-7 fourth quarter uh, deficit, but uh, just, just not the same half as the first half, mm -hmm. right? The tail of two halves, as they say. And uh, overall, I thought we, we played extremely well, especially in the first half. And then, like I said, we had some trouble with the pressure and created some turnovers and different things. And in the end, uh, Beaver Local was able to pull. And I have to give credit. What started Beaver Local's spark beside the defense was the three ball from the corner. Oh, absolute work. I mean, just four, kept four, them. four threes in a row. Uh, just... Got them some big time momentum. That that was that was a turning point in the game, in my opinion. Four uh, Warwick got, eight for the game. Yeah, Warwick got hot. I mean, so he's got twenty four of the th uh, sixty three points. You know, I mean, that's huge. And <laughs> and those that actually gave their defense a little intensity because, you know, if we if he misses and we go down, we score, and then we start pulling away. They're not necesarily has hyped up, right? Gets your Great. adrenaline pumping, gets your other teammates going, gets a crowd in the game, and then, uh, your crowd at a visiting place, right? So uh, overall, I thought we played pretty well. I mean, I just... I agree with you. Especially, like I said, we did a lot of things right in the first half, and we, we just got cold, too. We yeah, for cold. somewhat forsaken reason, we couldn't even try to buy a bucket no. down here on our hoop. Yeah, we couldn't I mean, even we were get one, one foot away and still couldn't actually get it to fall in through the net. Agreed. Well, that's going to do it for us. You're back again I am. on Thursday. I am. As the Red Knights are back and Lady Red Knights are back in action here. As uh, Red Knights, Lady Red Knights take on Malvern, which is actually the last game of the season until the girls go to Highland. Red Knights, well, they pulled the Zeps. Shenandoah Zeps um, in their first round. So we'll have more information on when that comes into play. Once again, our, our thoughts and prayers do go out to Beaver Local's um, 
number one, Brock Taylor. We hope he. Yeah, I think he's, he's had better. some spasms. Is what they were saying. So hopefully he is better and wish him wish him well quick, soon. Yeah, yeah we'll quickly, say, quick, yep. quick wishes and uh, quick well wishes and Thursday. stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> off tomorrow. Off tomorrow. Okay. What, you're probably like, what is that? <laughs> That's the last girls game. It would be the last home girls game. Yeah. Last home girls game. Not the last game, but the last home girls game. Yeah. Yeah, burst. Tournaments start what next week? Next week. Okay. And then of course I don't know if you heard me say this, but the boys drew the Shenandoah Zips. I saw that Zips. Um, and that's going to be here. So we'll let you know all the more details when it comes. So for Mr. Rob Suffoletta and for myself, that's going to do it here from the George J. Coonser Gymnasium with the score. Beaver Local 63, your Red Knights 42. That's going to do it. Take care, everyone. Have a good night.